What could have passed off as a peaceful religious congregation has now become a matter of national concern and importance after a serial blast took place at this convention center where uh, the annual conference of uh, Jehovah Witnesses uh, was held on uh, Sunday and uh, at least 2,500 people had gathered here when the, the serial blast took place uh, leaving uh, uh, 50 uh, injured and uh, 3 killed. Uh, and uh, as far as uh, the police is concerned, uh, they are probing all uh, possible angles. Uh, and uh, the events took a startling turn after a person named uh, Dominic Martin surrendered before uh, the Thrissur police and uh, claimed uh, responsibility for the blast. In fact, uh, uh, his statement has been recorded uh, in which he has given detailed uh, explanation of uh, uh, how he made those uh, explosives and how he procured them and how he learnt uh, uh, making IED explosives on uh, internet. Uh, so the police are uh, corroborating uh, uh, the, the statements that are made by Dominic Martin. In fact, uh, he had also put out a Facebook video in which uh, he has clearly explained the motive because he was enraged with the teachings of uh, the Jehovah Witnesses community because uh, it's uh, uh, against uh, the national interest is what uh, uh, he claims uh, and also as far as uh, those who are injured uh, uh, in this particular incident uh, they are still at least 17 of them are still at the hospital what is the health minister saying about it? the health minister uh, met the media earlier today and she said that there are 17 people still hospitalized of which 12 uh, are in critical condition are in the icu um, two people uh, are, are on ventilator support those two people are in fact the mother and the brother of the 12 year old who passed earlier this morning at 1 30 early in the morning today um, the other people according to the pro statement of the jehovah's witnesses uh, 59 people had been injured uh, in the blast yesterday the, the rest of them have been discharged is what the minister said today so currently the status is yeah 17 people are still hospitalized well just a short while ago the chief minister of kerala pinarayi vijayan had also visited the spot uh, to take stock of the situation uh, and as far as uh, this convention center is concerned it's completely uh, under the control of the police uh, even as we speak there are uh, nsg teams nia teams and ib officers who are carrying out investigations uh, and uh, assisting uh, uh, the kerala police uh, as far as uh, the nsg is concerned uh, uh, they say that uh, it's a uh, uh, low-grade explosives that have been used to trigger this blast. Uh, so have, they have done a detailed analysis of uh, the blast site and they have also uh, provided their inputs uh, to the Kerala police. Uh, there you can see the energy teams uh, leaving the venue uh, after conducting uh, uh, their, uh, uh, you know, uh, their study at uh, uh, the blast site. Uh, and apart from that, uh, there are still NIA teams who are also assisting uh, the Kerala police and also IB officials. Uh, uh, one thing that uh, the Kerala police is uh, uh, still not convinced about is uh, whether it was only Dominic Martin who was uh, uh, involved in this incident or uh, whether there are other people who have uh, given him some kind of inputs or, or who have helped him. So there you can see the NSG teams uh, leaving uh, the site, the blast site after carrying out their investigations. Uh, they had come out with their uh, men and material and they have done a detailed study of uh, uh, the blast site and uh, their inputs, uh, uh, preliminary inputs have already been provided is what uh, sources are telling us uh, but a detailed input will also be given to the Kerala police to assist uh, these investigations uh, but as far as uh, uh, the Kerala police is concerned like I was uh, pointing out earlier they are still not convinced with the uh, lone wolf theory. Uh, that is something that uh, they want to corroborate and they have been holding multiple meetings uh, since yesterday. Maria, you have been here since yesterday. Uh, wh wh what is the information that we are getting from the police department as far as Dominic is concerned? What is Dominic's background? Uh, you were also there at uh, uh, the, the area where Dominic lives. What, what is the house owner telling you and uh, uh, the other people who are in, in that area? As we know, uh, it was yesterday afternoon that Dominic himself put out a Facebook video claiming that he was the one behind the attacks. He detailed how he uh, built the bombs. Apparently, he studied it from the internet. And he even explained his motive, which was that he believed the Jehovah's Witnesses is uh, a so-called anti-national group. So, uh, and he claimed to have raised the issue with them multiple times and, uh, and said that they had not heeded to his... Uh, his complaints and so he decided to take things uh, to his hand and that is how he says he has this plan. Um, so in the video
video, he claimed to have made the bomb himself. He said he did it at his home. Uh, these are all stuff that need to be uh, ve verified by the police, uh, and which is why they're still taking time. They, they're still uh, questioning him, and and uh, they've still not recorded his arrest. So they, they're they're being thorough with it. Is what we should understand because uh, they, they they are yet to uh, they are yet to uh, put out an official statement uh, putting the. Uh, in the uh, say, call, calling him right. the convict. So there, uh, like Maria pointed out, uh, that uh, the police uh, does not want to leave uh, any kind of, uh, uh, you know, any any kind of reasons for uh, any kind of speculation as far as this issue is concerned. Uh, that is one of the reasons why uh, Dominic Martin has uh, still not been arrested formally in this case. Though he has been detained, uh, his statements are being recorded. Whatever statements he has made, uh, it is all being verified and corroborated with multiple sources. In fact, uh, uh, police sources say that Dominic has given them uh, almost all the details that are required uh, uh, for this investigation, like uh, how he made uh, these bombs. He has also produced those videos uh, and he has also submitted bills of him uh, purchasing the raw material and the fuel that was used to uh, make these bombs and also the remote controls uh, uh, that he used to detonate these bombs. Uh, so, uh, you know, th th for the police, uh, uh, the story is uh, extremely perfect. And that is why uh, the police is uh, very suspicious and they don't want to leave uh, anything to chance. Uh, that is why it is taking such a long time. Uh, uh, from yesterday, we understand there have been multiple uh, high-level meetings that have taken place. The chief minister is also expected to hold a meeting with the top officials. And after that, uh, there may be a formal statement from the police uh, because they want to be thoroughly sure that it is, if it is a job of a lone uh, wolf, uh, then they want to have all the available evidences uh, to back their claims uh, uh, because uh, uh, there, there is also speculation doing uh, around in social media that uh, it, it can't be, uh, you know, the job of a single person and uh, how a, uh, you know, English tutor uh, could make bombs and uh, could execute all this so perfectly. So these are all questions that uh, a common man has and the Kerala police has the responsibility to answer each of these questions and that is why it is taking time. But as far as uh, the investigations are concerned, uh, uh, the police, uh, the Kerala police is leading these investigations. They have formed a 20-member special team that is uh, spanned out across uh, uh, the Kuchi district uh, uh, to ensure that uh, uh, they leave uh, nothing to chance as far as uh, this particular investigation is concerned. Uh, whereas uh, the claims that were made by uh, uh, Dominic Martin, uh, some of the claims have been countered by the Jehovah Witnesses himself. In fact, uh, earlier they said that uh, he does not belong to their community, but later it was revealed that he was part of the community. But what, what did the PRO say particularly about uh, the claims that were made by Dominic Martin? because he seems to have had uh, too many problems with the entire community itself. So a couple of accusations that Dominic Martin made against the uh, community is that first of all, they do not encourage participation in politics, they do not encourage voting in elections, uh, they do not encourage military service, they do not uh, they do not encourage their youth to join the military, the armed services. Uh, so the Yehovah's Witnesses, uh, eh, they they have said that uh, they are completely in cooperation with the law enforcement or authorities in 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 solving yesterday's blast issues and they are currently not willing to engage in the controversy and they do not uh, wish in fact as we know yesterday a lot a lot of spin off stories did come out did come out of this blast so what they have asked for is uh, cooperation and they have also promised cooperation as as this uh, the the case is being uh, investigated investigated and, and by the Kerala police so they're uh, uh, particular as far as Jehovah community is concerned, uh, uh, they are a cult. Uh, they are the denomination of uh, Christianity, uh, but they claim that they reject the ideas uh, uh, that are followed by uh, Roman Catholics or uh, the other denominations in the Christian community. So they uh, completely reject the idea of uh, Holy Trinity. They reject the idea of uh, celebrating Christmas, Easter. Yes, they accept uh, Jesus as uh, the son of God, but they don't accept Jesus as God. So there are uh, a lot of uh, ideological differences uh, as far as uh, uh, the Jehovah Witnesses community is concerned within uh, uh, the, 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 the within Christianity itself. Uh, so uh, we are not sure who who, who these uh, people are, but uh, yes, uh, so there is a hectic activity that is uh, one can witness uh, both uh, outside and inside the uh, uh, this particular complex where uh, the blast took place. Uh, just to give you a sense of what exactly uh, the situation is, uh, there you can see those cars that have been parked uh, uh, in and around uh, this entire center. 
these are the cars of uh, all the devotees who had gathered here yesterday for uh, uh, the annual meeting and they have all been asked uh, not to visit and uh, their cars will be given back to them but uh, some of them even as we were uh, reporting from here we could see people coming here and asking for uh, uh, some help from the police uh, because some of their uh, luggage is uh, still uh, uh, you know lying inside uh, this uh, convention center so they want to uh, pick up some documents they want to pick up their vehicles but uh, the police says that uh, unless and until this probe is over they cannot hand over anything from inside uh, this complex complex uh, so even as we speak uh, there are uh, investigations uh, that are being carried out yesterday there was a forensic team uh, uh, that uh, uh, you know that that gathered crucial evidence uh, from this uh, blast site uh, and today we had uh, nsg teams and nia teams and uh, uh, intelligence bureau officials uh, who are, who are uh, conducting a joint probe at this point in time but it is led by the kerala police in kochi shabir ahmed with maria for the news minute